everybody. I am Dr. A. M. Trinjanam, Senior Interventional Cardiologist from Apecard Cardiac Center. Today I am going to talk about how to take care of your health, how to follow the medications after angioplasty, coronary angioplasty. Coronary angioplasty is a procedure to clean the occluded heart blood vessels, that means coronary artery vessel, with the help of stent. That procedure is called coronary angioplasty. Generally, that procedure it takes half an hour to 45 minutes, sometimes one hour, one and a half hour, based on the coronary anatomy, lesion anatomy. So after the angioplasty, patient is supposed to stay 24 hours that may be extended for two days or three days. The comorbid conditions are so very severe. Okay. After angioplasty, what are the precautions? What are the medications should be continued? Exercises, diet and other precautions. First we see, after the discharge from the hospital with angioplasty, this instruction is very common to everybody. Everyone has to follow these precautions. First we see the medications. What are the important medications should be continued after angioplasty? If you are diabetes, diabetes medications should be continued forever. If your consultant, cardiologist, if he puts you on insulin and oral diabetic drugs, it will be very safe and that will protect the stent forever. Diabetes should be under tight control after angioplasty. Fasting blood sugar should be below 100 mg per deciliter as well as postmenial blood sugar should be below 200 mg per deciliter. And this should be continued and maintained for long. If your blood glucose is tightly controlled and always you are maintaining euglycemic status of your body, very less chance to get the angioplasty fail. Next, hypertension. Hypertension is an important risk factor in diabetes and respective of coronary artery disease. The stent may get close in future if your hypertension is not adequately controlled and treated. So keep your blood pressure below 130 and 80. 130 systolic blood pressure and 90 aggressively controlling your hypertension will save your heart for the damage. Adequate control of hypertension will protect your kidney, heart, all the body vasculatures as well as brain. Based on your consultant cardiologist, hypertension drugs should be preferably continued. You may need periodical evaluation. For instance, if you are on diuretics, Serum electrolytes level should be monitored properly. If you are on thiazide diuretics, sometimes serum uric acid level may go up. Consult your cardiologist and check these electrolytes and uric acid periodically and control it next. anti plated drugs that has key role in the prevention of thrombosis of the implanted stents or new thrombosis in other vasculature of your body. Antiplates are the key stay of treatment. Antiplates are the main stay of treatment for the coronary artery disease or any vascular related diseases. Based on your acceptancy Based on your cardiologist preference, 
you may be prescribed immediately after angioplasty you must have given loading dose of antiplatelets during angioplasty followed by discharge you must be prescribed with ecosprin 150 mg plus tigagrelor 90 mg these two combination can be continued for 6 months 1 year or 2 years or more than that this should be decided by your consultant cardiologist next to combination of antiplatelets ecosprin 150 clopidogrel 75 mg likely 6 months 12 months 1 year 2 years 3 years based on your comorbid conditions other risk factors these two combination of antiplatelets can be continued with respect of your consultant cardiologist third combination ecosprin 150 mg prasugril 10 mg this combination can be continued 6 months 12 months 1 year 2 years or 3 years the planning of antiplatelet treatment for lifelong or maximum period of time should be decided by your cardiologist only no one can intervene in that prescription because he knows better than others so follow the medications properly and stick with the treatment sincerely the another important drugs to preserve your stent is statin nowadays very judiciously we are using the two major statin drugs one is atorvastatin and another is rosuvastatin immediately after angioplasty atorvastatin can be prescribed 40 mg to 80 mg based on your consultant and that should be continued for 6 months or 1 year later on the dose can be reduced further likely rosuvastatin initial dose would be 40 mg for 6 months or 1 year then later on they will reduce the dose into 20 mg 10 mg sometimes 5 mg but taking antiplatelets and statins lifelong will protect your vasculature will protect your heart attack the further heart attack secondary event of heart attack the secondary event of brain stroke and the secondary event of peripheral vascular disease so these combinations are very life saving combination this ca- combination can be continued with the advice of your consultant he decides the best combination which you need to save your life in future the next calcium supplement other vitamin supplement b12 folic acid omega 3 fatty acids can be continued along with this medication but it is not necessarily to be continued lifelong intermittently early 2 months or 3 months something 6 months you can get this vitamin drug supplement every 3 months 4 months every year 3 months 4 months you can continue so this vitamin combination supplement will not harm your body will not harm your implanted stents next the drug related complications are very less as i said before statin and antiplatelets sometimes even with the dengue fever dengue means your platelet counts will come down drastically in that situation you have to be careful if any fever check with your primary consultant and if they found dengue fever as soon as possible you have to stop taking antiplatelets either ecosprin or clopidogrel prasugril or ticagrel once the fever subsided and if you are recovering from that dengue fever or thrombocytopenia related illness you can again restart antiplatelets in some special situation abnormal gi bleed cerebral bleed you have to stop antiplatelets immediately in statin case some patient 
one in one lakh population one in 50000 population they may develop little side effect with the statin drugs rosuvastatin and atorvastatin with the higher dose they may develop rhabdomyolysis rhabdomyolysis means sudden body pain weakness fever dark color urine this is a major critical situation this situation symptom is called rhabdomyolysis once you suspect these symptoms immediately rush to your primary consultant and check with him and and reverse the abnormality immediately then later on the statin can be reinstated with the low dose there won't be any problem with reinstating the statin rosuvastatin and atorvastatin then exercise it's a very important those who got received angioplasty strength treatment they cannot involve in aggressive sports activity for example football basketball shuttlecock running swimming wrestling so the aggressive sports is completely dangerous to the patient those who have already received angioplasty because aggressive sports the aggressive strain can cause thrombogen sudden cessation of blood flow in the stented artery so that is the reason the best exercise is simple walking brisk walking and aerobic brisk walking and aerobic these two exercises are very important exercise they can continue life long it it will not harm your strength the next sexual part either male or female they can involve active sex life immediately after stent it is not advisable after 30 days they can have normal sexual life but it will not prevent them to have regularly in their life after angioplasty everyone should be careful in selecting their diet because you developed coronary artery disease due to unhealthy diet again after angioplasty if you are sticking with your old dietary style lifestyle that will not save you that will harm your strength again that may lead to new atherosclerosis process in other area of the artery again you will get new block in the heart blood vessels for that you need to be careful in diet number 1 avoid red meat completely in your life once you receive angioplasty stent in the heart white meat like chicken occasionally mutton you can eat not daily because once you receive the stent once you stop all the aggressive physical activity you may need hardly 2000 to 2500 kilojoules of energy per day for that mediterranean diet we have given more information about mediterranean diet fruits vegetables cereals nuts will give the more energy what you need for your daily requirements white egg boiled egg fish can be consumed weekly once or twice not more than that white meat should be restricted red meat completely should be avoided egg can be taken weekly once or twice fish can be taken in the form of boil weekly twice thrice the rest rest of the diet should include leafy vegetables green vegetables cereals nuts grains and vitamins supplement these are all the very important precautions after angioplasty and periodical evaluation with your consultant at least 6 months once meanwhile take care of your blood pressure and blood sugar and lipid levels especially triglyceride cholesterol ldl cholesterol should be taken more care
than other cholesterol because the triglyceride is an independent risk factor to cause again fresh heart attack ldl cholesterol is an important factor lipid which can cause again cholesterol formation inside the stent apple lipoprotein b very important that should be under control so for that diet statins regular walking will keep you fit and protect your implant and stents forever the stent during the stent implantation the procedure should be perfect there should not be residual stenosis inside the stent there should not be any dissection residual dissection at the time of implanting the stent there should not be any residual thrombus after angioplasty if the ang if the stent is properly implanted and opposed to properly if there is no defect after angioplasty proper diabetes control hypertension control statin drugs antiplatelets regular exercise and healthy foods lifestyle will make you more fit and you can live long without further heart attack the stent will be life long preserved and you can live happy life don't forget to follow don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends and family members thank you bye bye see you in the next video